I'll even wash your clothes. Just give me some time before I go. After my time waiting for you. Hello, that was uh, Paolo Nettini with Candy. Um, I'm Charlie Wallace. This is the Harry Beaker and Charlie Wallace show. Don't know where he is, actually. Um, he's supposed to be here, but it's just me for now. Um, but now we have uh, the Water Boys. This is the sea.
that was Stone Roses with Standing Here. Um, up next we've got a request from my little brother. Um, first, uh, as to the whereabouts of Fika, uh, I, did, I took a phone call from him, he's going to be about 20 minutes bringing a friend with him. Um, I don't get excited, that's not a, a, a celebrity guest, that's just literally his mate. Anyway, here's a little green bag, requested by my little brother. Green Bag by, um, by oh, I don't know who that by, but it was off the Reservoir Dogs soundtrack. Uh, uh, Harry Peek is still not here. Um, it's about 9.24 and up next is, uh, is the Incredible String Band with No Sleep Blues. <laughs> Strut the rapids and do you just have to snore? It's a most inclement calamity for the season of the night. As I must play football, although they didn't like the light. And the dawn comes sneaking up when it thinks I'm not looking. I'm starting to grieve. I used to walk alone, believe. Tell me, sweet, it's a gas. I want to lay down, but I'm sorry I won't get up. There's mayhem in this mansion since the cows were coming home with delirium, no sleep, in a cloud of melon foam. 
but release scours the outhouse when their hard rain sears the sky. But if you let the faith decide it, they will put you in the sky. And the dawn comes sneaking up when it thinks I'm not looking. I'm starting to breathe, man. I used to know what love was. I want to lay down, but I'm sorry, I'm okay. I really got the no I think I forget a picture, and I think I put it on a nail. I think I'll get another one and put it in a pail. But the pail got so rusty, I called it Red Ribbon for fun. And it left like a lever. The size of the future declared itself no part Aloof like a sultan in the autumn of your heart But the heart got so hearty that it pulled for the shore And the sailors fired a big salute
That was Anna Calvi with Love Don't Be Leaving. Um, it's uh, coming up to 9.33. Well, it is 9.33. I don't know why I said that coming up to 9.33. Anyway, someone has left a copy of The Sun in the studio from yesterday, uh, so that's going to be today's source of comedy. Uh, on the front page, it concerns uh, Seth Blatter's uh, putting his foot in it over the racism thing, and they've got, uh, uh, quite funny, they've got a picture of him hugging a black man and uh, with a speech bubble saying, I'm not racist, some of my best friends are black. Now, that's quite interesting from The Sun, because I'd say that is exactly the kind of excuse many of their readers would use. That's the kind of thing. But there you go. Clearly, they're not alive to the hypocrisy there. Anyway, up next is Guillemot's Trains to Brazil. Sorry about that. Yeah. I lost my campus card and I thought Charlie wasn't coming. Because, yeah, you thought wrong. Well, yeah. We've got a guest anyway, we've got a special guest. Hello. 
don't know if you can hear it. Pick that up. I don't know. Pass in the mic. I, I lean in. Can't we? Oh, you do. This is Graham. That's, that's Graham. From, uh, from my home. Yeah, I'm... From my school. You know? Um, How have you been getting on without us, Charlie? Uh, all right, actually. It's not that difficult. Really. Text in and tell us how he has been getting on without us. <laughs> to which number, exactly? His mouth. <laughs> I don't know. On the, on the that. internet. On t- Text Tim T. Tim T. <laughs> uh, what are we playing next? We're going to play a song. Um, I don't think many people are going to like it, I'm going to be honest. Really? Well, that has a pretty solid reason for not playing it then, Harry, it's a band, it? Yeah, but it, well, it's a band from Derby. Oh, um, Jesus. good start. They're called The, they're called the Little Explorer. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's yeah, I'll, I'll show you what, keep talking guys, because we're going to have to find it. So yeah, all right, well, okay. What what can we find in the old student newspaper, Graham? Well, Hitler's in it. Is it? Yeah, is he? Right he, 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 he oh, oh yes, it's this uh, Hitler's reaction to videos, I don't know if you've seen this, it started off with Hitler's reaction to the Oasis split on YouTube where they've just cut over, what is it, from um, oh, Downfall, really? they've just they put new subtitles on, but they've done it for the, the UEA music department, so it's closing, and Hitler's reaction to... But he's dead. Code. Well, yeah, I, I don't know, I think you've got to take it with a pinch of salt, Harry, it is, I think it's meant to be a joke, you know? I don't understand jokes. No, you don't, you're from the north. What else, what else have we got? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That's, that's no bearing at all. <laughs> so, and it's hugely on it. I don't know, it's just like the, the stock go-to thing to say to Harry to annoy him. Um, Project Escaped Closure. It's a nightclub in Norwich for those of you who aren't from Is Norwich. Is this true? I heard last night that um, Havana's is closing as well. Wait, it's not called Havana, it's called Cartel. Yeah, but it's called... That's... No. no I, I don't know, well, you might have heard that Havana's is closing no. and that it was being replaced with something called Cartel, that's already happened. I think you're mistaking its name for what it's called. Two different things, because no one calls it oh. Cartel. <laughs> you know. Um, there you go. In the public consciousness, it's still very much called Havana's. Oh, someone's texted in. It's a better name. another request from my little brother. Charlie's little brother. <laughs> he says, I've done very well. Yeah. He's done very well. That's biased though, surely. <laughs> oh, now he's got one as well. Bloody hell. I think we need to switch our phones off, to be honest. A bit rude. There you go. Um, well, I'm sorry, but I'm just still waiting for this song because uh, my laptop just... Just play one off my thing. Started. No, it's, it'll be on in. This is, we've got to test it, stretch ourselves. We've got, we've got to chat for the next one. Right, okay, so let's see what, the, you know. what, what, what comedy goal the student newspaper... Throw Graham the mic. He's gagging for it. Oh, I mean, naked, a naked protest. I can't believe I missed that through the script. I saw the naked protest. Did you? Too much of it. Uh, <laughs> you know. But um, sh- they were like, they were all right. I mean, I was just in the uh, the cafe thing, campus, on a cup of tea, and a bagel, and there were that hordes of naked people. Did you yeah. did you see them kind of through the bagel? You know. Well, uh, <laughs> what, through the hole of the bagel, no. Yeah, it's sort of like, what's that? And then remove the bagel to reveal all. What's in this bagel? It was, yeah, it was all right. I think all. you're missing the point, Graham, really, with what's in the bagel. <laughs> it's what, what, what they protesting about is the question. Mm. Um, um, sorry if you bums that. People and planet. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, oh, I chip. oh, but they're doing, like, sexy dances what in the it? cardboard what boxes. What was it? Because <laughs> that wasn't adequately explained to me while I was there. You know, I, don't think, I think they missed the point. There wasn't really <coughs> any explanation of why they were naked while I was eating my breakfast. Oh no, it's, a, it's an anti-sweatshop thing. It's uh, campaigners who prove that they would rather go naked than sweatshop. A worthy cause. Well, they are wearing cardboard boxes, and I, I think it would be amusing to look into who makes cardboard boxes because there's bound to be someone well, who's disadvantaged in that chain. A few of these are wearing socks, so oh. I'm annoyed. Yeah, well, what, what a chip, you know? It's just not dying hard enough for me. <sighs> Uh, the song's getting. Out. I mean, YouTube is loading. Well, um, yeah. Ah, oh god, this is this is the level of. Um, so we're gonna play the Little Explorer, um, a band from Derby. They're like kind of a. But you've heard of them, haven't you, Graham? Never, no. Never. Well, they're from Derby. Wait, and you're you're what from Nottingham? So it's like a big big rivalry because no, you're basically the same, but you don't <laughs> want to admit it. Sort of like, uh, what is it, Lancashire and Yorkshire? This is a common misconception. We don't live in either Nottingham or Derby. You live somewhere in between. In the, yeah. Well, I, I, do, I do live in Nottingham, but... 
<laughs> he lives there, but he's not. Well, <laughs> I don't believe this. This is the same copy of concrete that we used last week. I know it probably is. Oh, but come to think of it, it is like a, a fortnightly publication. Never mind. Anyway, I think I think uh, I can see Harry getting his act together finally. Don't know what I describe them as. I like them, but that has no bearing. They're kind of. You see, that's where um, being Harry's, a skilled DJ comes Harry's, in. Is being able to see what other people want as well as yourself. I know that I'm too. This, you know, I don't have the capacity to do that at the moment. So. Get on with it, Dika. Little, Running out of light chat. Little Explorer. <laughs> From five. Explorer. Ah. From Darwin. Very good. 
good. That was, um, I don't know whether that was suitable. I think they're slow up now. Morning. Well, that's probably a good thing. What do you think? It was quite, gra- it was quite abrasive, really, wasn't it? Lean, in Lean into the mic, Graham. Your voice needs to be heard. There we go. Not even registering. Oh, wait, yeah. no, a bit closer. Uh, uh, oh, now we're too far. Too loud. We're watching a needle um, <laughs> that's, that's bouncing up and down, telling us what's too loud and what's too not. And it's. Uh, this is we're probably, um, probably deafening you. This is great. Um, <laughs> I've got. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is Wild Beast. I'm playing this for Hannah, and it's um, big shout out to Andy Hannah. Hannah coming on now. If I can find it properly, I think it's. it's What's uh, that reference to? All the, all the king's man. No in jokes in radio. I really enjoy it. The listeners don't get it. Okay, pipe down. Oh. Wild Beasts, um, Old Kingsman. Yeah. Not as you. Graham has got. Uh, what was your 
Okay, he's got a feature idea. He's got a feature idea. Here we go, get ready for this. Um, if you know where we are, get some coffee, bring it. We're in the LCR, by the way, the UEA LCR. And uh, anything, any sort of coffee, and a Twix, bring it down, we'll give you a prize. You might be on the radio. <laughs> What's the prize? Yeah, she can be on the radio. Um, you yeah, can be on it. You can be listened to by. I'll give you a couple of quid as well. I might lick you on the face. Uh, I'm just just looking over at his uh his, his mouth there. He's got a very lavison tongue. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, before the news, um, Elvis Costello's got something he wants to say to you. So. Yeah. Elvis Costello. <laughs> Watching yeah. it's sexist. Uh, Should we? Good in that, isn't it? Lovely. 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 It sounds like a cocktail. That song, anyway, sounds like a mixture of like of, of, 
like the Beatles, Bob Marley and the Buzzcocks. This is getting a bit tenuous. Well, they've got together and convened. Yeah. Well, I... Somehow produced over Scott Stella. Anyway, this next song, Graham, you want to introduce these, this band? Um, very influential. Massive, life absolutely massive group from, uh, from our school, from our school. Uh, in, in the past decade at some point. Kind of bloody northern by the sound of it. <laughs> they, are, they had some seminal work. Seminal work, seriously. You know, most um, of what you hear in the charts today, these guys. Influence. Yeah. You know, they're so, silent people going most of. I mean, they're so far reaching, their musical influences. I think the bass line just says it all, really. The bass line is. This is, Sat- this is Satan's Womb. Um, I'm giving them their radio debut. I feel proud to give them. Do it. Uh, with Ryan Cushion, um, his brother, and who was the other one in? <laughs> oh, no, I've no idea. No. Um, Actually, it's going to work anyway. I think it's, I think it's going to work. Here it comes. Oh. I'll have to bear with us. It's not working. Um, <laughs> I'll make it happen. Is it working? Your laptop does run on Steam, so... It just doesn't run, though. Oh, come <laughs> on! Oh. This is... We've built this up now. We've said this is one of the greatest... I've learned that we've never made. to build up records should before. We, should we give it a chance and do the news, maybe? Yeah, uh, go on. You two, you two can do oh, the news. I'll, I will get this. That was an anti-climax. Sorry. All right. Well, they're used on to On today's it. news, dwindling listenerships used to. I'm trying way. to work out our jingle for this. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> news. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> was something being stepped on? Inspired. Anyway, um, it's been revealed that Mark Duggan, sort of the the catalyst that sparked the London riots, was not armed when he was shot. The big controversy. Um. Stephen Lawrence's uh, murders are in the news um, because that happened is incredible. It happened in 1993. He was 19 at the time. I worked out if he, had, if he still lived, he'd have been 37 now. And they'd just got round to prosecuting. I don't understand that. Do you understand that? Well, he, well, there was there a question about who did it or how? No, I don't. I don't think so. Like, they got the two guys. It's taken so long. But like, yeah, it's it's, it's no, 2011. Now, now you see the problem is that like because it's such a high profile case. They can't. They have. They're, they're struggling to find a court that doesn't know too much about it. Like they're not. They're not. A, yeah, a jury. Like they've. They've stopped the jury from like. They've taken away the internet. Apparently, they were thinking about doing that from them mm. like the week before, so they can't read up on the case and stuff. So. Right, and uh, other news. Uh, Eric Pickles is unveiling unveiling a curry college to sort of train British nationals, so we can com- so people can compete with the uh, sort of Asian curry houses. And um, it's quite funny. I don't know if you, anyone actually has ever seen a picture of Eric Pickles. He is even bigger than John Prescott. He is a fat man. <laughs> and uh, it, it, honestly, just the fact he's opened up a curry school, that is very him. I'm sure he'll be sampling some of the work of the promising young. Is, That's why he's done it. Is that like this? <laughs> um, I hope so. Come get me, Eric. I don't think he can catch me, to be honest. Uh, just, I'd be miles ahead of him. Yeah, if, uh, if he did, bring me some coffee. If he did catch me, he'd eat me. Well, I can definitely hear that. In fact, I think I think he did eat his predecessor. I, I, I don't know. Is, is that... you and garam masala and just. <laughs> uh, then Google Eric Pickles if you know him. Honestly, I'm he's trying just... to cue this. I, I wonder why he finds that to be a priority. You know. Yeah. Well. The world is literally. I, I kind of understand it because you, 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 we, the, the, you know, all the uh, loads of immigrants coming in, they're very industrious, very good, but that's kind of everyone else very is sort industrious. of... industrious, I'm sorry, some of them are lazy. Some of them so are lazy. Let, let's not be racist here, let's not be stereotypical. Some, some of them are lazy. Industrious. <laughs> I'm saying there's equal numbers of them that can't be... I'm I'm just, I don't know about equal numbers. Equal, well, the ones that can't be bothered generally don't sort of get out of the country. What? what? What are you talking... You're making general. You're making positive generalization. Positive generalization. Oh, I'm, I am. I'm sure I am. Anyway, the general point is that um, yeah, it's sort of leaving sort of the British people are sort of you know getting very lazy and logging the two. I reckon. I think we're getting fat and complacent, and we need to up our game. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> you could see Harry's face right there. I'm. Oh, and the Egyptians have returned to Tahrir Square. 
Oh god, because they they did overthrow Mubarak, but now they've got a military regime and they're yeah, not. Graham, yeah. what was you? What was you? Graham was saying something quite insightful yesterday about um oh, about Greece and <laughs> current, which is quite current because we had a well, what's <laughs> happening in Greece obviously it's not ideal, and uh, <laughs> it's not ideal. And also, no. and also we had a Greek we had a Greek guest the other day. He was saying the the Elgin Marbles. <laughs> El- the Elgin Marbles. He said, Did you relay what he said. Basically, um. If we didn't have him, they'd have probably told him by now. So to Rupert Murdoch. To Rupert that's Murdoch. What he said. <laughs> Don't know if that's an excuse. He'd be putting his coffee on him as we speak. So I mean, we just literally went in there and nicked him, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> well, that's, that's good. We're having them. Yeah. What do they even look like? The yeah, yeah. Well, they're not actually marbles, like for playing with. They're actually just statues <laughs> made of marble. I, I thought it was like, what is a worry about some marble? Does like, it make you proud to be British? I think I have to get in. They've lost their marbles joke got somewhere. We've marbles here. just in a museum somewhere. That we've stolen. Not even text marbles. In, text in, your, your... Text in if it makes you proud. Right. We've got these. Actually, I don't know why we put a penny. It's just if anyone balls. wants to phone in, text in with anything at all, yeah, we will be we more than happy to give you money. Techno. No, that's not you. Um, Four charged with terror offences. They're from Birmingham. Yeah, you know, I would be, wouldn't it? Those brummies, honestly. Yeah. I was kicking off that lot. I'm going to see if I can outdo Boris Johnson and offend <laughs> more people in one go, in one <laughs> show, than um, has ever been achieved. You know, what about those people in the Shetland Islands? Oh, I can't stand that. Idiots. <laughs> oh, coming over here. With their, their Shetlandy Taking ways. Is it a tax haven? Is it a tax haven? Jersey, Jersey. Oh, oh, Jersey. I've got my facts wrong. There's a bunch of... <laughs> Very close to swearing, then. <laughs> US could face credit downgrade. Oh, well, that's going to have dire consequences. I will laugh my bottom off if that happens. I mean, it couldn't have happened to a, <laughs> a more horrible country. Here's some, here's some more news. Hey. How about that? Harry, do you want to just put it stop? Put David Bowie on. I'm not putting Bowie on. Ugh. Oh. You've got to put Bowie on at some point. We've had, like, no song for how long now? Ages. That's five five change. minutes. It's about to change.
Aztec camera. Um, I believe it's. I like that, that was good. Probably the best, it's probably my favourite yeah. song from the 80s, probably. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Big shout. Big shout. The big one, because there's a lot of, like. The 80s, I, I think that's a bit of a claim to make. I just made it. Well, there you go. Uh, got Graham, you've got, uh, Graham's got his, his two cents to give on uh, no, no lesser figure than Gary Barlow. Well, I've just seen his little face uh, <laughs> in the paper, and I'm angry, you know. Really? He's, he's holding a little yellow bear. Don't know what that's about, but... Um, that, yeah, that's children need Graham. Oh, yeah. Well, that's charity, Graham. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's, little, he's, he's looking at me. He's he's he's, uh, he's he's done the impossible, I think, you know, or or, or the near impossible. And that, that is, he's spent the last twenty years being Gary Barlow slash nothing, <laughs> about as interesting as a paper bag. And I don't care if you like him, right? And um, <laughs> and he's what he's done is he's turned that he's turned into a personality. Well, his, his, yeah. his dead eyes looking at you and now he's, he's turned that into love me love me and that's my opinion mm-hmm. we do oh, <laughs> just just notice i don't know where i've got this but uh my, the, the headphones which i've been dedicatedly putting on right hurriedly is completely he's <laughs> broken them. i haven't broken them he's broken the headphones them. i'm the only one with headphones in here yeah. oh, he's got the power so, I can hear everything you don't want me to hear. <laughs> I can hear. I can hear what you. I can hear what you're thinking, basically. So. Did you hear that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Stop thinking that. It's inappropriate. I've told you about that. Yeah. No. You know, no. No thoughts. I'm not really. going to say anything, but you know, could be arrested for that. <laughs> so. Stop thinking that. Okay. I'm going to let that slide because we've been friends for a while, but I mean. You know, a lot of people wouldn't. Daddy can't hear what I'm thinking. I can. You don't have headphones either. <laughs> I've got the only. This, this is this is what the. Um, this is what you don't get with guest mic headphones. You know, you don't get this thought. Uh, you, you like that, you? Anyway, are we gonna have um, Alex? What do you want on, man? Nothing's working. Uh, Alex. Get uh, uh, our. Uh, we've we well, only got twenty minutes left though. She's probably squeezing some more music. Let's just get some comedy gold out. Let's get Alex. It's like a three minutes. Only if Graham does the intro. Well, I, I, he has no idea what, who Alex is. Alex the Greek. Alex the Greek. Opinionated Adriatic communist Greek. That's that's the intro. <laughs> Thought of an intro for myself actually. Yeah. That's, that's Sophisticated, understated man about town. <laughs> How about that? You can't just lie. <laughs> Uh, this is Alex talking about something, I don't know what he's, he's on talking about. He's talking about the only ginger in the village. That's talking about the, the only ginger in the village. Can, can we say ginger? Is that a swear? It's not a swear. What? Ginger is not a swear word. Oh, I thought it was like their word, you know, like the N word. No, no, oh, no. Okay, well. I haven't reached that stage. Anyway, where I grew up, yeah, everyone had either dark hair, had brown hair, fair hair. You know, no one had red hair. We didn't believe in red-headed people. We thought they were like myths and stuff. You know, like you've seen old myth stories with red-headed people fighting dragons. You know, and one day, like this boy, you know, uh, Dimitrios, he was born with red hair, and no one knew what was going on. It was chaos in the village, man. It was chaos. Like, like you know, with, with his father, who got really upset because his mother cheated on him with some sort of Irish tourist. Vagabond or something, and you know it was chaos, and they divorced because they put so much stress on the marriage. Because if you think about it, yeah, it, it, black hair, you know, fades to brown, fades to blonde. You see a, 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 a gradient. There's a, there's a, there's a gradient, yeah. But where does red hair come in? It's unnatural. It's freak. It's freakish. It's what I tell you. It's, it's got it's in, in, uh, in origin. Well, freaks. Northern Europe okay, freaks. Okay. Oh, like, I'm not. I'm not being funny. Apologize to any gingers listening. Look, I'm sorry, look, this, there's, a, there's a moral to this story, yeah? I'll get to it in a second, right? So anyway, uh, right, our, our priest told us he might be possessed uh, from the mark of Cain, yeah? And we got really scared and we used to throw rocks at him every time we saw him. And I think it really messed him up and no one, you know, no one knew really what happened to him. And eventually he just had to leave. I think he moved to Athens or somewhere. 
And you know, it was only till later that we we basically just realised how horrible we've been. You know, kids. You know, what kids are like, yeah. Like they just, they pick on the people who don't fit in. Yeah. And this poor boy with red hair. I mean, we used to we used to throw rocks at him. We used to throw figs at him. We used to do all sorts of horrible things. We, we once we pretended to kidnap his donkey. That was the worst of them all. And I mean, the entire thing. Just, I mean, eventually, he moved. He tried shaking his head. He tried dying. We all knew he was a red head. I'm sorry. You can't hide that kind of thing. And boom. Pretended to, to kidnap Athens. his donkey. And later on, you know, I moved to England. And like, everyone here has red hair. I'm not near red hair gene. You know, it's it's normal. And you know. So, I mean, you know, I haven't seen him for like 12 years now. I mean, you know, if you're listening to Dimitrios, just like, just, just look me up. Oh, no, I'm a uh, one in a billion chance that Dimitrios is listening to this poxy student radio show. You know, just, just look me up and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go for a drink and I'll apologise, Max. I, we didn't know. And that's the thing about racism, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing, it's just ignorance. You know, I didn't know about the redhead people. I didn't know, and that's why I was so confused. That's why there's racism in less mixed places in Eastern Europe, you know. Mm. I, as, it's important that we, we get it out there that racism exists. There is no excuse for people who live in multicultural London to talk racist. Still no, there's no excuse for that. I mean, it's just, I'm just saying, you know, we, racism is bad, and that's the moral of the story. Yeah. Anyway, on that moral note, we're at the finish. Unbelievable. Uh, he is just comedy gold. I mean, I, 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 I'd want him on the show but again, but I fear he would take the show to, from us. He tried to kidnap. They tried to kidnap someone's donkey. And they pretended to. Pretended to. Kid they pretended to kidnap someone's donkey. It's alright because they didn't actually kidnap his this, donkey. This is a. This is a great. You realize I've talked about Alex about this where they, in terms of like bikes, the kids had donkeys. Like he, Alex had a donkey as well. Little donkeys himself. Unbelievable. Uh, you, but you to swim to school as well. Why? Because apparently he's school with the other side of a bay. Mm. Anyway, he, 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 he swam to school and then put on his youth. What? No, he didn't. He didn't need it. It was so hot that it was quite all right for people to go to, go to class. Yeah, everyone. It was so hot that people just dried off, like, instantly, after getting out of the sea. That's not sufficient to me. But it's... No, no. That was weak. Yeah. <laughs> what a feta cheesy joke. <laughs> Anyway, um, that was, oh dear, a couple of clangers there. <laughs> There's no such thing as a bad this is, time. Um, this is uh, a <laughs> Modest Mouse covering um, a Buddy Holly song. It's good. That'll be the day. It's a good cover. Landing day, let I die, landing day. Modest Mouse covering um, Buddy Holly.
Who's yeah. dead? That was quite <laughs> the fun fact of the day. Yeah, but yeah. Buddy Holly, he also wore quite nice glasses. So, you know. Mm. Well, there you go. Two facts. Two. Um, <laughs> he was a uh, son to Mr. and Mrs. Holly. <laughs> This is this is all good stuff. Uh, buddy is short for Budwin, I think. <laughs> what is Buddy short for? Probably real name. Bob. Know, yeah, it, maybe it's just a nickname. That's, I don't know. That's a long shot. Kind of cheesy. I think you can agree. Buddy, how are you, Buddy? Anything? Oh, there's an offer in Asda oh, <laughs> for seven pack of Baileys. I'm down there. So we got, that's in the newspaper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I should probably point out that there are other offers on Bailey's available from rival <laughs> supermarkets, such as Sainsbury's, Tesco. Say, does Safeway still exist? Probably not. Right. Nice. Yeah, I've not seen them for a long time. Oh, uh, well, if you're out there, Safeway, give us a ring and we'll reaffirm your existence. <laughs> um, what? Well, <laughs> other than that, I'm furiously looking through this. You know, very highly reputable. Uh, publication. No one can hear you. The Sun. And uh, there's no, there's well, yeah. yeah. Wait, this is dry. We're only on page thirty-four, and it's just turned into ads. So, Harry, save me. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you serving up? Well, there's a story I'm about trying to serve up Satan's wound, but it's not working. <laughs> I think they. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, we got lift off. I don't know what's about. Oh, God. oh, no, it's oh, not working. No, oh. All right, I'll come, I'll come for the rest of you. I've got, I've got a burning desire to hear that tune now. Mm-hmm. The bass line is uh, oh. something else. I'm bitterly disappointed. If you don't get that working, I won't speak to you for the rest of the day. Oh. You've promised it to me now. You've promised it, it, promised it to your loyal fans and listeners. <laughs> listener. A horde of people that are listening. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, I've come well. in with. Uh, we're having the the jam. That's entertainment. Are we? Yes. Alright. Old school. <laughs>
That was uh, the jam. That's entertainment. I think a very fine song. What do you think, Graham? Not very bad. Yeah, great tune. Well, yeah, very entertaining. <laughs> What's, what's your Got myself in a bit of a jam there with that pun. What's his name? I can't remember what the blue team's name is. I don't think it matters. Oh. Paul Weller. Paul Weller, there you go. Yeah. Yes. I, that's him. Oh. What yeah. a lovely man. <laughs> <laughs> no, we hate him. <laughs> yeah, he, um. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Keep talking, it's still going now. Watch out for a bit. Why? Played a song by Ween every single time we've done this. Yeah, I don't know. I'll tell why, to be honest. Um, how, how smooth would you say that fade out was? Because yeah, uh, oh, that, didn't that was come on. That was. You did specifically say. I've rolled in the swivel. How smooth this will be. Hey, I've and just. Then he screwed up. <laughs> I, I've just thought. I just noticed this. This copy of the Sun is from. Has been here for ages. So I'm just thinking maybe every single radio show has done. Anyone listening to this regularly basically be sick of hearing about the sun. Oh God, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when Jack or when, when uh, if anyone anyone is uh, is listening, he would listen to that as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same copy of the sun. Yeah. That we've been. Well, never mind. I will well, prepare better for next week. Are we having another song for uh, Lorna and Joe? Come on. Come on then, Graham. Go on, go, go, give Graham a crest. He hasn't actually requested. Anything. Uh, Anything. Oh, well, something that we can put on in under a minute. Yeah, well, look at my microphone. Can we know? We can ask it from you. Any, any, got any Scott Smith? Scott Smith. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think there was some. Uh, have you got that joke? Isn't funny anymore. That's an absolute tune. <laughs> uh, Girlfriend in a coma. Personal right. favourite. <laughs> William, it was really nothing. <laughs> Alright, this is, I don't know which song. It's just, um, How soon is now? Little known oh, Manchester good band. Good choice. Oh, the Smiths. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm
Good morning, welcome to the Hangover Shift, which is our new show name. With what would be Joe and Lorna, but fittingly, Joe is hungover and in bed. But he's on his way, which is fantastic for me. I get to do it all on my own. I get to be in charge, which never happens, so it's brilliant. So, I get to play a little bit of Beyonce for you, here we go. 